You can slide? You can slide in this game? Oh, I slid. I slid on him. Did you see that? <laughs> He's never seen a slide handle in his life. Okay, that's four. Let's go. Oh, that's another one. That's five. Time for some new cube action. And one more. <laughs> I caught him. He must be so angry. Okay. This is going exactly the way I planned. Delta Force, Hawk Ops. Let's see what this game is about. I've seen other people play it, and they've compared it to a mix of Battlefield and Call of Duty. So I'm curious to see how it actually feels as a game. Okay, so we've spawned in. I have it set to medium graphics, by the way. The graphics look insane. But let's see how the gameplay feels, because that's more important. Okay, I, I don't know what he thought was going to happen there. Hit marker. Ooh, another one. Let's maybe get the third. No, I run of bullets. Quickly, before he gets to cover. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, behind me. So far, the sniper has a very arcadey feel to it, though. Like, the way it shoots and the fact that there's almost no bullet drop feels a lot more like Call of Duty than Battlefield. And I know that the operators come with gadgets, which you can access by pressing X. I think this one, yeah, this one pings enemies with that bow and arrow. Let's throw a grenade at them. Yeah. Sniping feels very satisfying. Yeah. Let's see a flash. Okay, so if you hit them on the head, it's a one shot. Or was I just lucky he was weak? No! She may revive me. I'm right next to you. Look to your left. Yeah, that's it's it's not happening, is it? That was a hit marker. Was that not directly on his head? Okay. He ran away. Okay. Oh yeah, you can lean in this game as well. I that's not a... Get on! What does this guy's ability do? Oh, it's like a super sprint. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, and it refreshes when you kill someone. Let's go. You can slide? You can slide in this game? Oh, now I get why they say it feels like Call of Duty. Okay. Things just became a lot more fun. Excuse my aim, by the way. I don't think there's a controller option for this game, so I'm using a mouse and keyboard, and as you can tell, it's not my normal input. I think they're all above here. Yep, I was right. Oh, they're right above me. There's a car here. Oh, that's not a teammate. The only thing I'll say about this game is that the map is a bit confusing. I don't know. I, maybe, I think it might be because it's too zoomed out, but I feel like I get lost very easily. It might also have to do with the fact that I don't really know these maps, though. This game runs very smoothly, by the way. Look at all the explosions and stuff that's happening, and I'm not dropping a single frame. Which is very impressive, considering that this is an alpha. Oh, we won. Okay. How come we won? What happened? Did they run out of time? Oh, we were the best squad. Let's go. Seems like we're attacking this time. Oh, I'm in a car. Okay. This. <laughs> oh, the handling of this is so weird. Okay. 
Okay. This is going exactly the way I planned. Yep, all part of my plan. Oh! There's someone on this, yep. There you go. Take care of him. I saw another person rushing over here. Oh, there's a lot of people over here. Take care of him. I'm on a streak. Oh, and I'm weak. I don't know if any of you have played the game Chivalry 2, but the graphics of this game, even though there, it has nothing to do with this, the graphics of this game remind me a lot of Chivalry 2. I wonder if they're on the same engine. We're not making much progress, so I got a car that has a cannon on it. Oh my god. Okay. Now we're doing some. Pro now we're making some progress. Let's go. See, all I needed to do was get in a vehicle, and suddenly we're capturing. <laughs> I mean, now I feel like I'm playing Battlefield. Get over here. And it, it exploded. Okay, but I did my job with that car. I got us a point and I got a lot of people as well. There's two of them here. Got him. Oh, I slid. I slid on him. <laughs> did you see that? <laughs> He's never seen a slack handle in his life. <laughs> Standing in the middle of the field over there. But yeah, I don't know how I survived that. But I really like this weapon. Oh, I almost got the third one as well. My mouse hit my keyboard. Yeah, attack is a much more fun than defense. Oh, I got a car again. Let's go. Who are you trying to shoot with that launcher? Yeah, that's what I thought. They are attacking one of our objectives. Yeah, that's what happens. Okay, yeah, cars might be a bit overpowered in this. Oh my god! They might be a bit, just a bit overpowered. Oh, I thought I made it. I thought I made it. Oh, there's a lot of them. Oh, there's explosives. Behind me. Yeah, get slid on. One more? Oh, okay, now I finally understood what that means. Okay, so you see the top over there where it says 68 on the left and there's an infinity sign on the right? That just means that the attacking side, which is the side I'm part of right now, has limited lives and I just wasted one. But the defensive side has unlimited lives. So defense has a much higher advantage when they're playing because they have unlimited lives. Okay, so that makes sense now. So we, yeah, we're probably going to lose this match with only 60 lives left and one, two, three, four points left to capture. Yeah, there's no way we're winning this. Why, why is he not turning, <laughs> looking at me? What is that person doing? Yeah, that's four. Let's go. Oh, that's another one. That's five. Come on, maybe we can make something happen here. Okay, one more. I'm on a crazy streak right now. One more. Missile strike available, but I don't know how I call it in. Okay, okay. We did some good damage over there. Oh, and we lost. <laughs> okay, I guess that was all for nothing. I actually really like this map. I know that there's another one though, and I want to try it out. Okay, so this is the other map, and this looks much more like a Call of Duty map than it does Battlefield. Okay, so I guess they're gonna rush us from this way, so maybe let's go up on this hill. We got one. Let's shoot this thing, which I still don't know what it does. 
Hey, it's getting hit markers, so I guess it's doing something. I'm gonna shoot this thing again. Hopefully it does something. Oh yeah, it's doing stuff. Time for some new cube action. Yeah, one more. And one more. And one more. <laughs> I caught him. He must be so angry. Oh, I ran out of ammo. One more. Yeah, that's three. Well, from what I've noticed, instead of just rushing head first like you do in Call of Duty, and even in Battlefield sometimes, it's much more beneficial in this game to hold a good head glitch and just let enemies rush to you. And you're going to be able to get lots and lots of kills that way. You know, let's try... Let's try light machine gun as well. I have... I'm curious to see how the light machine gun feels on this game. Oh my god! Okay. Was not expecting it to do this much damage, but I was also not expecting it to have this much recoil. Okay, so you're not able to slide with all of the operators. For example, I can't slide with this one. Probably because he's carrying heavy gear. Okay. Managed to flank them again. Let's lean and take out the third as well. Ah. Oh. Got shot in the side. There was one more. The one thing I'll say about this game is that you die pretty quickly. What are the... Oh, and we won. Okay. Yeah, I'm actually very surprised by this game. Didn't expect to have this much fun. The gunplay feels very nice. It does feel like a mix of Call of Duty and Battlefield. You have the modes and the maps that do feel like Battlefield maps. But the gunplay is much more arcadey. The guns shoot and feel like Call of Duty guns. And the movement is more like Call of Duty than it is like Battlefield. My take is, if you have an opportunity to play this game, try it out. I think it's worth it.